my house I'm thinking of you Okay, so I promised you all that I would make a video about grip files and, and actually a grip file is a weather forecast. Now this is something that Winnie and I do usually every other day or so when we're sailing. Um, keeps us ahead of the game, uh, lets us know what we're going to be getting into. So this is a regular noon type situation. So the first thing we need is a PC and here we have a satellite telephone. Unfortunately right now it still looking so it just barely has a little bit of antenna there not very good so I don't know what kind of uh, uh, reception we're going to get but if all else fails we also have our shortwave radio which we can take use so the first thing we're going to do is go into the program that we have here which is called sail mail and now we're going to ask for a grip file and we do that here the first thing that comes up, as you'll notice, is actually a map. This is the west coast of the United States and, and Canada up here and around Vancouver. So this is actually the last weather forecast I took before we got in here. So we'll just leave that the way it is. The little green spot there, that's where the boat was at the time. And so what we're going to do is go down here and we see down here at the corner, we can actually ask for, for different models. I'm going to go with WW3 which I want because it tells me both the wind direction and the strength and the wave direction of strength. Request that. And we'll see here that it says wind. I checked that off. Height of significant waves. I checked that off. That means what's the average height of the wave. I'm trying to remember that, you know, every 30th wave is probably 25 or 30 percent higher than the mean. And every 100th wave is probably double the mean. And here we have wave direction. So I've asked for all three of those things. I've asked for the forecast time to be forecasted every six hours for the next two days. And we can see that boom, boom, boom. And over here it tells me latitude and longitude and all these kinds of good things and the size of the grid that it's showing. I mean, I can put that up to more or less uh, so that the grid size is bigger. But we're going to post that request and say that that's what we want. Having done that, I'm going to go into this up here and say position reports. And the reason I'm doing that is because it will allow me to get a little boat in the forecast that moves along as the time goes along. So it's giving me the time here, the course I'm on, the speed I'm going to be making, latitude, longitude, etc. We're going to say that, that we want that. So we've now posted the request and we're going to close this window out and then we're going to see if we can do this. Now I'm going to do this on the uh, telephone because it's a little easier for our purposes here. We get this up here and we just say well connect and off we go. Now this takes a while because first it's going to connect to the Iridium telephone. Have it connected to that then it's going to say we have to validate our password on that. Then it's going to connect up to a satellite. There we go. So we're connected to opening connection to the satellite and server. So we're connected to satellite and server. And there we go. We're now in sail mail. And there's no traffic coming in. So we're going to send this request, which we just did. It says, oh, well, you've got, we're going to wait, stand by for a minute while it generates our. Uh, Weather report, here it comes. Now this is going exceptionally fast. <laughs> I wish it went this fast every day. It doesn't. So there we go. We're all done with that. Now, if I were going to do this on the shortwave radio, the first thing I would do would be to uh, go up here and uh, open this. Now I'm opened up for, uh, this is actually Bar Harbor, Fr Friday Harbor, Washington. I happen to know that that's going to work, or it did at any rate, a little while ago when I did this video in Danish. So we're not going to go through all those steps. So we're going to see what happens here. Now it's calling. 
Let's see if it picks it up. Before it did quite well. Uh, I was actually surprised. It had very, very good reception. So it connected up. That's fine. It's now sending our data. This is all on the radio, of course. Um, so it's checking to see if we have anything coming down the pipe. And it uh, doesn't really look like we do. Oh, there we go. I think it's probably sending me the same uh, grip file. Uh, looks like it is, but that's fine. We'll let it that run. Uh, I'll let you know when we're done with that. Shouldn't take long. Okay, so we can see that that disconnected after sending it. We're now going to go out of that. And there we go. This is a new mail. This is a query reply, meaning it's a reply to my query about uh, a weather report. We're going to open that. And Oh, that's a big one. Okay. Uh, I'll tell you what, we're going to go back and get the other one because the other one was a little better. This one somehow not what I wanted. Let's go back and get uh, this one. That's the same one. I just took that a little earlier. So here we go. So this was the last one. Uh, I took this when I was doing this video in Danish. You can see at the boat, if, if our boat were out there right now, we'd have 14.9 knots of wind coming at 320 and 1.4 meter waves. We can go up here and say please move forward six hours and we see the picture changes and it continues to change every six hours uh, these red ones coming in you see 20 knots 1.6 meter waves yellow is smaller and green is very small of course um, so there's some weather coming in over the next couple days and if we were out there which we're not but if we were uh, right here in 36 hours they're going to about 20 19 20 knots and two two and a half meter waves which means that every hundredth wave will be close to four meters so that's uh you don't want to be out there two days from now a good thing to be in here but that's the weather report we get and that's what we look at um how accurate is it well it's like all weather reports in the netherlands they have a saying that says you lie like a weatherman um they're usually okay for the first three maybe four days out and after that it's pretty speculative um, but that's how we take it down and that's what's called the grip file and then really you have to interpret these things i mean you can't just say oh well, the weather's going to be nice because it's really raw data and you have to interpret it along with the general wind patterns coming up in, in this area and everything else so that takes a little while 